Hey everyone. Well, the answer to this week's quiz question um, is, can it really be answered in two ways, either in a very simple way or a very complicated way? And lucky for you, I'm gonna give you the simple version. The book of Daniel is written in two languages. Now, most people would say it's in Hebrew, and it is. It starts off in Hebrew. But then in chapter 2, at verse 4, there in the middle of the paragraph, it switches to Aramaic. It stays in Aramaic all the way until chapter 7, verse 28, and then switches back to Hebrew. Now, the only other book that does anything like that is the book of Ezra. And in Ezra, chapters 4, 5, 6, and 7 have parts of it that switch to Aramaic also. No other book does that. Scholars really have a lot of very complicated um, versions and explanations for why this happens, but none of them is really clear or um, concise enough to be definitive. What's very interesting is that in the NRSV, at chapter 2, verse 4, this is what the text says. The Chaldeans said to the king in Aramaic, O king, live forever. The NIV does a similar thing. Um, almost all modern scholars now see that in Aramaic, kind of in parentheses, as a way of an a, a, a insert of a note in the text to say this is where the Aramaic starts. Very interesting and cool stuff about the Bible. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.